Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to the Model Railway News. I'm coming at you for September with all the latest news and product updates from our wonderful hobby. So sit back, relax, hope you enjoy it, lots of news to get to this month. And we're going to kick off with Hornby, whose next new arrival looks as though it might be the Clan Class. This really has been a much requested model from Hornby. They did release it a number of years ago, but it hasn't been in the range for quite some time. And they say now that it is almost here. So if you've got one of those pre-ordered, fingers crossed you'll be getting that pretty soon. I've also noticed that Hornby have started to offer mystery boxes on their website. This is quite an unusual idea. So you pay your money and then it's a complete mystery what you receive. So here's an example. You've got the steam freight train bundle and here's what it says you can expect to find a steam engine and at least seven coke wagons included in this bundle the only problem is is that it costs 300 pounds so my question is who on earth is going to spend 300 quid on an unknown loco and if you're spending that kind of money you've considered it carefully you've decided on the loco you don't just want to get something random so yeah it's a little bit strange similarly you've got this one you can give Hornby 150 quid for the railway buildings bundle and this is the quote that I liked you can expect to find a nice selection of village buildings included in this bundle with at least five quality items. So that's pretty funny. You've got five quality items, but what's the rest? Uh, cereal boxes? Rocks? Maybe the steampunk buildings, actually. That would be my guess. I bet they've got lots of those left. Anyway, if you really want to give Hornby hundreds of pounds for products that they can only sell when they're made anonymous like this, then check them out. It might be quite interesting. Let's now take a look at the latest Hornby Engine Shed blog though, because they've showed off some Class 91 decorated samples, and it looks like we've got three different versions on display. Now, is it just me, or is it really strange to see photos of such a high-spec model of a Class 91? I'm so used to seeing the old sort of 1980s models, it's messing with my head very slightly to see such a detailed Class 91, but in a good way, of course. Not only are the painted and physical details really good looking, they seem to have a really high quality finish on them as well. That's something I've really been focusing on this year. But as you can see, yeah, nice shine, not too plasticky looking, very, very cool indeed. So they're showing off the classic intercity swallow type livery. That's lovely, isn't it? You've got the GNER ones and also the LNER liveries. Three very different liveries, of course, each one of them showing the model in a very different light. So a cool project to follow. Most retailers are going to be selling these for just less than 180 quid or thereabouts. And pre-orders are being taken at many model shops. So check those out if you'd like to. They've also showed some great engineering sample photos of the upcoming Mansell Dining Saloons that Hornby are making. And these look similarly high spec, don't they? Actually, you can see all of the different separately fitted parts and the high resolution detailing. So no doubt when these models get a drop of paint, they'll be finished off really excellently. Another big Hattons project is of course the Genesis Coach range and Hattons have issued an update on the delivery schedule for those. Now as we know a lot of delays have been seen in this hobby this year for obvious reasons and the Genesis coaches are no different so unfortunately and it is annoying because obviously we were looking forward to them but they have been put back a little while. So the Great Western and the SECR versions are coming first and those will now be arriving on the 28th of March. That's a very precise date so it be interesting to see if they actually arrive in stock on that date. Then the second batch is the LBSC ones, the Great Northern and the LNWR ones. They're coming on the 6th of June. This is all 2022. And then the final lot, that is the LMS, the LNER, the Southern Railway and the Departmental Coaches. Those are coming on the 11th of July, 22. So we've got to sit tight for a little bit longer for those, unfortunately. But as always, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will have been worth the wait. The final thing I wanted to say about Hattons is that they've currently got some bargain deals on the Hornby Great Western Collet coaches. They've got three for £90 and they're also offering packs of different formations. So again, a little bit like the formation diagrams, this helps you to make sure the coaches you're buying actually match each other and fit together nicely. And I actually bought a rake of, I bought a pack of four, I think it was and then an extra coach at a slightly higher price to make a rake of five. So I'll be doing a review on those pretty soon. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. It is a good price for the Hornby Collet coaches. So if you're interested, I will pop some links down in the description for you. 
Next up then, just a tiny update from Oxford Rail, but I think it is worth mentioning. Uh, it is that the remainder of Oxford's J27s are now in stock. So yep, it was just this one, the LNER Black to begin with, but now there is a bit more choice. So if you're up for one of these, you have got the LNER Black to choose from, but there's also BR Black now, early and late. So you've got the choice there. And then the very nicest one, if you ask me, is the LNER Lined Black. This is actually the one I had ordered to start with. It just looks so great with the red lining on it. But of course, I wanted to get an earlier model. So I ended up going with the unlined version. But yeah, seriously, that lining looks incredible. And it's still really inexpensive. It's not more pricey or anything because it's got the complex lining pretty darn good but they do seem to be selling quite fast in places so i've got an affiliate link down in the description but uh, don't be surprised if they disappear quite quickly next up then a little bit of an update from dapol because they have yet another new wagon in stock it is the jha wagons and as we know well as we've discovered the latest dapol wagons have been really really high quality and actually of the jha wagons i've heard very much the same they're supposed to be super detailed and you can kind of tell that they are from the photos. Also very, very high spec and apparently incredibly heavy as well. They've got a lot of die cast on them. So if this is something you'd like to see me review, then comment down below and I will definitely pick up a couple. I think maybe, maybe two would be nice and we'll do a review on those. So yep, yeah, Dapol JHA wagons, look at them. They look really, really cool. So if you want to pick some up, uh, you can do. They're now in stock. Next up, a bit of an update from Acura Scale, and man, they seem to be making a lot of announcements uh, over the last few months, and they've made yet another one. So it's this, it is an all new tooled suite of Mark II B coaches. And as has been promised on all of Acura Scale's announcements so far, they seem to have a very, very high spec. They've showed off some samples, so you can see a few of their great features. They've got the very high detailed bodies and also chassis as well. Look at the underframes. Many separately fitted and even etched metal parts, which suggests that these are going to be quality models. And of course, an appropriate array of different tooling variations to cover the many different coach types. And apparently they're also going to have detailed interiors as well as internal lighting so that gives you an idea of the feature set that we're expecting here currently they're just showing the undecorated engineering samples but they are looking great and to be honest even though they are expensive as you might expect perhaps not quite as expensive as I thought they might be when you consider they've got lighting and interior detail so the cost is going to be £59.95 each yeah of course of course that's expensive but there are a lot of features on offer here, so it's definitely a project worth following, and fingers crossed they will actually be worth the money. Only time will tell, I suppose. They're estimated to arrive in Q3 2022. As we all know, there have been a lot of cancellations this year in terms of exhibitions. Uh, Warley, for instance, that's the biggest one. That was uh, cancelled for this year. However, there is at least one of the major exhibitions still going ahead this year, and that is the Great Electric Train Show, which is still set to go ahead over at Milton Keynes. So this is taking place at the Marshall Arena over the 2nd and the 3rd of October. The tickets for this are just £12 each if you go online to book, so I definitely recommend that because it's a bit more expensive on the door. And if you've got kids or if you are a subscriber of Hornby Magazine, then it's a little bit cheaper for you as well. They've got quite a few big names attending. You've got DCC Concepts, Hattons are going to be there. You've got Locomotion Models and KR Models there as well. As we know, KR like to announce things at exhibitions. Uh, I've got no reason to expect that they are going to announce something, but maybe they will. So it will be pretty cool to go. Now again, it's at Milton Keynes, so if you live nearby and you are sort of missing all of the wonderful exhibitions, uh, then this is one that you can go to if you feel safe to do so. So there you go, the Great Electric Train Show. To finish off today then, there is just one poll result to share with you, and that comes from my video of the Helgen AEC railcar, which was actually pretty good, and I asked you guys who produced the best railcar. Now, Dapol only received around 13% of the votes, which I was quite surprised about, and Helgen received the most at 31%, making them the winner, of course. And I agree, to be honest with you, the Helgen model was far from perfect, but of the two modern rail cars available, I do think that was the best. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do comment down below to let me know what you thought about the news. And as always, if I've missed something that you think deserves a mention, also comment down below. But for now, I'll say thanks for watching. You take care, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you very soon. All right, cheers, everybody.